We're now in a new module, Module 2, about factors and multiples. This is Lesson 2.1a, Understand and Find Greatest Common Factors. So remember, a factor is a number that is multiplied by another number to get a product. Factors are numbers that divide evenly into a number. So 3 and 4 are factors of 12. 12 is the product. And 4 fits evenly into 12 three times. There's no remainder. The greatest common factor, the GCF, GCF of two numbers is the greatest factor shared by those numbers. If we list the factors of 12, we know 1 times 12, 2 times 6, and 3 times 4. Those are all equal to 12. So that means we have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 as the factors of 12. For the factors of 6, we have 1 times 6 and 2 times 3. So we have a 1, 2, 3, and 6 as factors of 6. We look at their common factors. They both have a 1, they both have a 2, they both have a 3, and they both have a 6. And the greatest common factor that they have is the 6. That's the GCF. The GCF for 12 and 6 is 6. So to find the greatest common factor of two numbers, we list all the factors for both numbers. We identify which factors they have in common. We can circle them. Then we identify the common factor with the greatest value. We think of factor partners. If 4 is a factor of 20, we think 4 times something equals 20. Well, that would be 4 times 5 equals 20. What number multiplied by 4 equals 20? It would be a 5. We list all the multiplication facts that have 20 as a product. We would have 1 times 20, 2 times 10, and 4 times 5. Then we can list them in order from least to greatest. We have 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20. Now we've listed all the factors for 20. And 4 times 5 and 5 times 4 show the same factors. So they show 4 and 5. So we only need to list it once. A baker is making boxes of cookies from 10 vanilla and 15 chocolate cookies. All of the boxes will include both vanilla and chocolate. If all the box contents are identical, what are the possible boxes that can be made? So we have 10 vanilla and 15 chocolate. We have a table that shows the number of boxes and the number of vanilla that would be in each box, vanilla cookies. We have the number of boxes of chocolate and the number of chocolate cookies that would be in each box. So because there's 10 vanilla, if he made one box, it could have 10 vanilla cookies in it. He's only making one box, he's going to put all 10 in there. If he makes two boxes, well, then there'll be five cookies in each box. If he makes five boxes, there'll be two cookies in each box. And if he makes 10 boxes, there'll be one cookie in each box. The factors of 10 are 1, 2, 5, and 10. 1, 2, 5, 10. 1, 2, 5, 10. For the 15 chocolate, we have one box of cookie with all 15 in it. Or he could split it into three boxes of cookies and put five cookies in each box. He could make five boxes of cookies and put three in each box. And he could do 15 boxes of cookies and put one in each. The factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15. 1, 3, 5, 15. 1, 3, 5, 15. The common factors are 1 and 5. They both have a 1. And they both have a 5. So which are the numbers of boxes he can make? Well, he can make 
one box that's got 10 vanilla and 15 chocolate in it, or he can make five boxes that has two vanilla and three chocolate. The greatest common factor is five, so the greatest number of boxes he could make would be five. So he can make one box with 15 chocolate and 10 vanilla, or he can make five boxes with two vanilla and three chocolate. Those are his choices. Here we need to find the greatest common factor. We need to find it for 24 and 32. We list all the factors of 24. We have 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, and 4 times 6. Now we need to list the factors of 32. We know 1 times 32 is 32, and 2 times, do you know, 2 times 16. Is 3 times something 32? Can we divide 32 evenly with a 3? No. How about a 4? 4 times something is 32. That would be a 4 and an 8. Can we divide it evenly by 5 or 6 or 7? No. So we know the factors for 32 are 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, and 32. Now we can circle what they have in common. They both have a 1, they both have a 2, they both have a 4. They both have an 8. But they don't have anything here in common. That means the greatest common factor for 24 and 32 would be 8. We know all of the factors they have in common, but 8 is the greatest. It's the greatest common factor. Now we can do it for 36 and 45. The factors for 36 are 1 times 36, 2 times 18, 3 times 12, 4 times 9, and 6 times 6. We can list the factors for 45. That would be 1 times 45. Can we divide it by 2 evenly? That's an odd number, so we can't divide it by an even number, too. What about 3? Actually, yes, 3 times 15 is 45. What about 4? Can 4 go evenly into 45? No. What about 5? Five? 5 times what is 45? 5 times 9. How about 6? No. 7? No. You can ask yourself, is 45 an answer for the 7 multiplication facts? No. It's not an answer for the 6 multiplication facts or the 4s. So our factors are 1, 3, 5, 9, 15, and, thir and 45. So what they have in common is they have a 1 in common, they have a 3 in common, this one doesn't have a 5, and then they have a 9 in common. This doesn't have a 12, that doesn't have a 15, so it looks like what they have in common is 1, 3, and 9. That means their greatest common factor, the largest number, the greater number, is 9. We identified all the factors for each number. We identified what they had in common, and then we looked for the greatest one, and that was the greatest common factor. Do you remember prime numbers from fourth and fifth grade math? Prime number is a whole number greater than one that has exactly two factors, itself and one. So five is a prime number because its only factors are five and one. And 7 is a prime number because its only factors are 7 and 1. This means the greatest common factor for 5 and 7 is a 1. But that's 
not having a greatest common factor of one just for prime numbers. Two numbers can have one as their greatest common factor if they're not prime numbers. The factors for 21 are 1, 3, 7, 21. We have 1 times 21 and 3 times 7. And the factors for 22 are 1, 2, 11, and 22. 1 times 22 and 2 times 11. So these are not prime numbers because they have more factors than themselves and 1. They have other factors. So they're not prime numbers. Though 21 and 22 have several factors each, the only factor they have in common is 1. Therefore, 1 is its greatest common factor, even though they're not prime numbers. So now we've completed this lesson, we're going to move on to the second part of 2.1, which is 2.1b. We're going to talk about using the distributive property. And actually, if you have your multiplication facts memorized to 12, you're going to breeze through the greatest common factors. You'll even breeze through multiples when we get there. I hope you have a wonderful day. To let me know if I helped you, please hit the like button. I'll know. Bye.